mentioned this match 10 years in the making. Saitama Super Arena is stoked. You can feel the crowd's electricity. Enzo Gracie, a veteran. You said and it. A leader here for Team Gracie, 183 pounds. And there you have an adopted son for the fans here in the land of the rising sun, Carlos the Ronin Newton from one of my favorite countries in the world, a place I love to visit, Canada. And he is absolutely beloved here in Japan. And there you take a look at the Japanese broadcasting crew, including uh, Nobuhiko Takada, Nobu but it was Hiko not Takada. what I was looking at. Oh, you weren't? Uh, no. Uh, there we have him, Carlos Newton. Both seem very relaxed, yeah, Carlos, Carlos and Hanzo. Hanzo um, worked a lot on the striking, like he told us. I hope everything is going to work out. This is going to be a great match. Um, always action-packed with Carlos Newton and Hanzo Grace. Also an alteration in normal pride matches. One ten-minute round and one five-minute round. And again, Ready, go! should be a superlative bout. Both jiu-jitsu practitioners, but Carlos Newton also well-versed in boxing. We know that Henzo Gracie has been working on his stand-up skills, and right away, Newton tries testing him, but they go immediately to the clinch along the ropes. Takedown by Henzo. Nice takedown. He's in the half guard, but uh, something tells me he's going to pass that, and he's going to go for the side mount. If Carlos should wrap his leg around Henzo's leg, because otherwise he's going for it, we know that Newton is not your usual jiu-jitsu artist in that he works fast and tries to go on the offense, boss. Yes, um, we, we're going to see a great display here of submission skills, but they have to move because, like we said before, you know, the new rule here at Bushido is if you stall a little bit, you're going to get a yellow card, you're going to receive a yellow card, and they're going to put the fight back on the feet. And for, Hen for Henzo Gracie, this is kind of coming full circle, involved in the very first Pride Fighting Championships, going to a draw with Akira Shoji, and now here he is on the debut of Pride Bushido, involved in the Team Gracie versus Team Japan event, and still now looking to pass the guard of Carlos Newton. Yes, but he can't. Carlos is doing a real good job defending the half guard that he's got now, uh, Hanzo. But Hanzo really has got to work because... Um, we have uh, Yuji Shimada in the ring. Okay, I won't make the mistake anymore. And he will probably put the, feet, the fight under the feet. Okay, here we go. Full guard. Now, full guard could be interesting. An open guard. Now, Newton looking to get busy on the bottom. Quick right. Yeah, this is what they always say in a submission fight. This is really a chess game. We got two super submission fighters right here in the ring. Nice right straight by Hanzo Crazy there. And the game of chess has begun. Now looking to power out and maybe posture a bit is Henzo. Now nice body shot delivered there by Henzo Gracie. Nice right hook to the head by Henzo Gracie. What might Newton attempt to do here, boss? Nothing. He can try to go for a submission, but he knows that Henzo probably will escape it and go for a better position then. So Gracie's now on his feet. He's going to try to break the guard from uh, Carlos Newton. Whoa, and now, now he's got his back. Could go for the Mata Leon here. The rear na naked I'm choke, does he have it? I don't know. He looks like he might. No, no. he powers out, boss wound. Yeah, it's very difficult. Yeah. Good reversal there by Nunes. He has Gracie's back now. And Gracie almost going for the arm bar there, it looked like, as now they begin. I told you. Just each other's submission skills back and forth. Yeah. Great exchange there. And this is the first round at Bushido between Henzo Gracie and Carlos the Ronan Newton. Carlos can put his right knee now on Henzo's left elbow and pull out his right arm if he wants. Side control by Newton. And he might want to put some knees into the side of Newton's body. Henzo's body also. Or make that Henzo's body, sorry. Yes. Oh, no, but Henzo could make a knee also, you see. He's holding now his knee against his body, but he can load up. That's right. And make some knees to the kidney area. And again, it's the chess game. Who's going to make the mistake here? But there has to be action. We know that Newton is very aggressive. In fact, he always tries to force openings. 
Yeah, Hanzo has got uh, the, the, the hooks. Uh, he doesn't let Newton push himself out, which is a very smart thing, by the way. Newton should start raining knees to the head here, right knee or a left knee to the body. Okay, now we're going to go for submissions. You watch. We know that his favorite submissions are... Oh, nice knee to the head by Gracie. Yep, and that one you need to block because that one counted. Great ground display here by both fighters, two of the very best in the world, and Henzo Gracie and Carlos Aronin Newton. Can we armbar attempt here by Gracie? Newton's not careful. Uh, Uma Plata coming up. Oh, he missed it. Whoa. Looking for that Uma Plata was Gracie. Nice reversal there by Newton. And the fans here appreciate the efforts. Yep, and they know this, both of them, they know this is the first round. You want to finish strong. They're probably also going to wait for the five minute mark. And then the last five minutes, they're going to turn it up a notch because they have only one five minute round after this one. 10 minute round. Ronan Newton raining in some left hands to the body, trying to loosen it up a bit. Look at this, he's going now, for a leg lock. Leg lock there by Gracie. He, he, wants, he tries to toe hold, but it's not going to work. The way for Newton to get out of a toe hold is just to simply stretch his legs. So if he extends his oh, he, leg, he, he can get out. But it looks like Hanzo is looking for a toe hold, but it's, it's easy to defend because he's got nothing wrapped. So officially, you cannot be caught. You see, now... Now he looked like an an going for a, an ankle lock there if he could turn it, but... No, there's nothing Newton. he can do right now. He can try this toe hold. Newton simply has to stretch his leg right now. And He's Newton continues to rain in those body shots from his position. Hanzo should pull his left shoulder back. His left shoulder back to finish up this toe hold that he has right now. There's a look and at Hoist Gracie, the captain of Team Brazil, in the corner. It, it almost looks like he has it because... Carlos Newton has his leg bent and a toe hold with a bent leg. You see, now he stretches his leg. That's the escape. You see? Yep. And now he's, he's bending the leg again, which is a difficult thing to do. And the Japanese captain, Hidehiko Yoshida. And you know the history between Yoshida and Gracie. Hoist yeah. Gracie. Yeah, Hoist doesn't really like him. I have that feeling. And now it's Newton. He can, he can kick his butt right now. Literally. <laughs> well, maybe not kick. But hit it. <laughs> you know, the Ronin nickname comes from being a very unique fighter, being in command, a masterless samurai, following the strict code of what else Bushido, only fitting that Carlos Newton is on this card. Now look at here. There is nothing here right now. He should turn around. She throws. Yo, oh, he's got the knee bar. trying to escape it. Hanzo should try to turn on his side so he can expand, he can buck higher. This way he cannot really break. He's got three minutes to finish it up. Yes, he's going to get extension it. extension on the knee bar. No, he escapes it. The Newton. Carlos Newton escaping the knee bar. Whoa. And now almost looking for superior position now is Newton looking to turn the tables on Gracie into side mount. Now reading in those right hands. Into the stomach of Hoist Gracie. Yep, Carlos was the first time when he fought Sakuraba, he tapped by knee bar. So he thought right now, no, 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 no. I'm not going to tap on a knee bar again. It's not going to happen. And in that bout against the most revered mixed martial artist in Japan, Sakuraba, the early prides, they called it the best bout in Pride FC's early history. Yes, it was. It's uh, definitely in my top five list. You see, oh, those vicious rights to the rib cage oh, oh. of Enzo Gracie. And we have definitely seen a back and forth battle, a seesaw affair here in this, the first round of this bout between Newton and Gracie. Many people said it would be a classic, and it has the makings of one here at Bushido. It looks like uh, Carlos is looking for an armbar, but I don't know if that's a smart thing to do with Hanzo. It almost looks like he wants to step over. He should throw his left knee to the body, to Hanzo's body. His left knee, you see, because he's blocking his right. Now. Going into a north-south position. You see, he can't hold it. Whoa. Armbar looks almost, you see, he's looking for armbars. That's his favorite mode of submission. Although he'll take a choke if he can, and now he wants to go for his back. 
He's got, He's got such, his back. Such good control. Such a good control. Right straight. That's where he should right now. Left straight. I'm sorry. Under under the armpit of Hanzo. No, or that. Or this one you see underneath the armpit. And then. One minute. One minute. Roll through by Gracie, but now he gives up. He's on his back again into the side mount by Carlos Newton. I'm sure he'll be looking for that arm bar again given the opportunity, but now Gracie keeping him close to his chest. Carlos pounding away with those rights. They're not really effective, but they're scoring. They're scoring and they can set, set, a, set him up for a submission. For Carlos Newton, being asked to represent Team Japan is tantamount to a religious experience since he follows the strict code of the Bushido. So for him to be on an event called Bushido is unlike anything he's ever experienced. This is a highlight for him. And to face Henzo Gracie is one of the biggest highlights in his career. And acquitting himself well in round number one is Carlos Newton. Now a knee to the belly. And now wait a minute, going for the... And there it is, the end of round number one. And a, what an a, exciting technical round it was. Boss Root between Hanzo Gracie and Carlos Newton. Wow, I, from ringside I saw Carlos walking back like nothing happened. Hanzo looks a little fatigued, but also they're both in a very good shape. Uh, Carlos is just relaxing and drinking right now. You guys cannot see it at home. Okay, Let's, let's take a look at the replay, boss. Yep, here we go, watch this. He's gonna go for the choke. But like I said, it's very di difficult to slide in a choke because you're wearing the gloves. We saw Carlos in two precarious positions in round number one, with the rear naked choke, the Mata Leon, and then later on with the knee bar. Yeah, it was perfect. Here we have the knee bar. It was a perfect knee bar. Uh, Hezo set it up perfectly straight. I thought really, whoa, it was a super escape. That was very close here. And there you see the corner. Hoist Gracie and other members of Team Henzo Gracie. And you know, you talk about maybe fatigue. There we see Carlos Newton's corner. We have to give uh, Henzo Gracie the benefit of the doubt. He is 36 years old. Newton is 27. Yeah, looking at Henzo's corner, it looks like Henzo is more tired than Carlos Newton. And it's like you said, age does make a difference. Whoa. Seconds out, second round. They say it so close that you don't know what they say. <laughs> second round, second out. There you see Carlos Newton, Hanzo Gracie, ready to do battle once again here, round number two. All right, only five minute round. This is it, the final round. Again, special Bushido rules. Only two rounds instead of the traditional three. Low kick by Gracie. Full body lock now by Newton. Big slam. Takedown by the Ronin. And Beautiful. you can see. He's happy. Yoshida's Yoshida is happy. And he's very happy. Knees to the body. And that's got to drive the air right out of the lungs of Henzo Gracie. Oh, yes, it does. And especially, again, ladies and gentlemen, it's the side of the liver. <laughs> you do not want to get hit there. You know, your, your proclivity for the liver reminds me a lot of Hannibal Lecter, my friend. Yes, oh, thank you very much. You you know would, would you like some fava beans to go along with that? <laughs> Listen, every time I say liver shot, some people at home, they have to take a shot. So that's, here we go, folks. Liver shot, liver shot, we liver got, shot. We have a restart in the center of the ring. Side control by Newton. He breaks the grip there. He wants to walk and roll. It's only, uh, I'd say, four minutes left in the last round. So here we go. And you know, with four minutes left in the fight, he's going to be looking for that arm bar if given the chance. What does Henzo Gracie now, knowing there's only four minutes back work, uh, left, working from the bottom, being a Gracie, what is he going to have to do? Now in the north-south position is Newton. He's going to rain yes knees into the head. Oh, that good job by Gracie to... Get back on his knees now, but he's still got full control, does Newton. He's got now single leg by Gracie, take down, and but Newton remains in control. His control is unbelievable. Look at this. 
They both have been in positions now that I've never seen in my life before. <laughs> was that a concerned look on Hoist Gracie's face? Or is that just a con concentrated look? I think it's a concerned look too because um, Carlos is doing a really nice job. Look at this. His balance is phenomenal. He really does have great balance. In fact, he's a prototypical mixed martial artist is Carlos Lerone and Newton. Always very entertaining to watch. Takes on all comers, but now waist block has for a moment there. Turns it around as Newton looking for the single leg again is Gracie. Oh, and just him right past him. Never saw that in my life. But nice pass by there. Simply just room pass and Newton. The fans applauding that. And now you can see him breathing laboriously. Henzo Gracie, definitely tired. Now we see a bit of the stand-up. Carlos told us that he was working to the body. He worked him some shots to the body. What a fight. A great fight. We've seen the ground game. Now we're seeing a bit of the stand-up here in the final minutes of this battle between Henzo Gracie and Carlos Noon. Team Gracie versus Team Japan at Pride Bushido into the last two minutes. High oh, oh, kick. Gracie's the top of Gracie's head. Now, Gracie looking for the guillotine draft. There it is. I don't know about this. It. He has the only advantage point. It's difficult to submit somebody like this. You really have to know what you do because uh, the left arm of um, Carlos is in there and he can defend it with that. Here we go. You see he's pushing it out. It's very difficult. Pops his head out, does Newton. I think fatigue is really becoming a factor for Henzo Gracie, boss. I think so too. Carlos should now rein his right knee to the body of Henzo here on the ground. That's what he should do. Doing a good job of staying active with his fists, working upstairs to the head, body shots, continues to pepper Gracie from his vantage point. Into the final minute now, here at Pride Bushido, of what has been a very Memorable battle between Carlos Theron and Newton and Hanzo Gracie. Again, a fight that has been a decade in the making comes to fruition here at the debut of Bushido involving Team Gracie and Team Japan. Will they let it all hang out during the finish? Are they going to pull out all the stops? Or is Ronan Newton confident enough that he's done enough to prevail? Yes, I think he, he, he's confident enough for that. Um, right now, on my scorecard, he's the winner. Um, he's probably going to try to pull something out of his head now with the last little 15 seconds. He lets him get up. Maybe a flying knee or something. He's going to do something. Well, there's Henzo Gracie. Still, and there we see it. Wow. What a tremendous battle. <laughs> between Carlos Noon and Hanzo Gracie, and this is what makes this sport unlike any other. The two fighters collapsing at the center of the ring, sharing some words together, extending their hands. What a, what a display, what a picture right there between two tremendous fighters, Hanzo Gracie, Carlos Newton. Man, what a battle. And Hanzo Gracie at the age of 36. Oh, kick a, to the body. A game effort tonight. Yes, this was a good fight. It's been definitely won by Carlos Newton because he's, he finished the strongest, he started the strongest, um, he started the strongest. But uh, all my uh, all, all my respect to Hanzo because he was fighting, he was reversing, he was going for that knee bar. He almost got him in the knee bar, but let's wait for the decision right now. Be a split decision, Carlos, the Ronan Newton defeats Henzo Gracie. And there you see Oshida, happy with the 
And here you see Carlos Newton, the sportsman that he is, putting Hansel Gracie upon his shoulders. Hansel Gracie perhaps awarded that one judge's decision for the near rear naked choke, the Mata Leon, and the near leg, uh, the knee bar. But Carlos Newton, the victor, and perhaps that's the way it should be. Yes, and you know, uh, when they were standing there, look at him. Look at this, wow! <laughs> Wow, what a great shot that is. When when one judge gave it to Hanzo, Hanzo was shaking no. He said he didn't deserve it. So that's a true sportsman there, right there. And what a picture that's going to be in a magazine. Hanzo Gracie with a Japanese flag parading yeah. around the ring. You know, we, we hype it up for marketing reasons. Team Gracie versus Team Japan. But this is all about respect. This is all about pride. And, and these two are two of the very best. Carlos Verona Newton defeats Hanzo Gracie here at Pride Bushido. He has to do the fireball. Okay. He's gonna say something in Japanese and he speaks yeah. fluent. Okay. He's going to address the crowd. <laughs> Yeah, happy Yoshida right there. Nihon <laughs> We're just getting a translation here of what Carlos Arona Newton said to the crowd. He is thanking everyone in the audience for their support. He is very happy to be a Japanese team fighter and he says he's going to be a member of Team Japan for a long time. The only question I have, Bob Rudin, is if he runs for office here in Japan, the Diet, will will he be awarded victory, do you think? I don't know. He can roll for governor, but he can never be the emperor. 